Hey, uh, we just got these in. This is we're at Crowd Supply headquarters. We just got the Numato Lab Opsis uh, boards um, straight from the Thad House and Assembly House. This is a, the first unboxing of one. Uh, so the Opsis is a video open source open hardware um, video manipulation platform built off of uh, an FPGA and it can do all sorts of crazy things with video. But here's what it looks like when we unbox a protective sheet and a nice uh, nice instructional quick start page. It tells you where to go for what and what kind of power you need, um, where you can get help. Uh, it tells you what's working and what's being worked on. So currently there's driverless capture via USB at 720p at 30 frames per second on Linux, HDMI matrix, video switching two in and two out, uh, device control via USB serial, and then a bunch of stuff that's being worked on is like the display port 4K video support, for example. Um, here we have uh, your secret code that has um, probably your MAC address and, uh, and your other DNA on it. Um, like some standoffs in a little package, and then this guy, which is sealed, so I'm not going to open this, but um, you can kind of see in there, oh, it's silica gel packets. Uh, you can see that you know, the board is pretty good size, um, has lots of neat things on it. There's the port form on this side, there's Ethernet over here. Um, we'll be taking some pictures of it. Uh, actually, we can't open it. That's right. I forgot. So if you, you might see blood. And there's some sort of fancy new technology with bubble wrap. But I guess this is sealed as well, and I don't see it. It does not look like a bag. I think I need to cut this as well. So nice, nice professional packing job anyway. And then it's made for people with big hands. side and if you order one now we'll send you some free packing material like a box and tape and things like that um, actually these these are being worked on I think as we speak or soon as we uh, soon after this at uh, the Linux conference in Australia uh, they will be using these to capture and live stream the conference um, and I think it's the first time that an open source conference has used open hardware to do that. Um, so, big steps. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, we'll get back to you on Twitter.